What's up everyone, this is Ryan with High Catching Coral and this is ECC in two minutes. In this week's video, we're going to be going over our wild Indonesian carpet anemones, some of our advanced holding capabilities, aquacultured mother colonies of Cephastria and their frags, and finally, we're going to give you a sneak preview of next week's WYSIWYG offerings. Healthy and happy carpet anemones are always an exciting thing to see in person, even for professionals and experts alike. There's just something special about them. We currently have some very nice red, pink, blue, purple, and yellow carpets that are conditioning before adding to our stock list. Wild anemones can be a bit tricky when it comes to acclimating them to the aquarium lifestyle. Once they're adjusted and settled in, they can become quite hardy if cared for properly. Everything in our care are placed in the absolute custom environment to suit their needs. We take lighting levels, flow, substrate needs, what work fish and inverts are present in tank, overall cleanliness of the systems, and water chemistry all into account when deciding the best placement for every coral in our care. Many corals require vastly different conditions to thrive. Being able to quickly adapt to their needs is essential for their long-term life while acclimating into the aquarium lifestyle. Lighting is adjusted on our Ecotech Gen 4 Radeon Pros by using their ReefLink interface. Each tank is set up separately, making it very easy to monitor, control, and change everything we need to do. We also use the light acclimation mode to help new arrivals after a long transit adjust to their new environment as smoothly as possible. We prefer to adjust flow while standing directly over the tank and monitoring the coral's behavior and needs. Ecotech Vectra L1 pumps are used on a closed loop on each tank in our wild coral facility, conditioning facility, and our aquaculture facilities. With a quick turn of a knob or a fast adjustment of settings, we can deliver the perfect custom flow and type of flow for each coral. All of our holding systems are tested twice a day to ensure that we are within the parameters we strive for. We currently test salinity levels, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, nitrates, and phosphates. Our advanced logging of these results allow us to better understand how we might impact these levels and has taught us how to keep them as stable as possible. These levels are taken into account as well when we decide where to place corals. We are proud of our expanding aquaculture selection. Here you can see many of the aquacultured mother colonies of Cephastria that we currently have to offer, including this piece that we picked up from Darwin at Legendary Corals. This is the LC Circuit Breaker Cephastria. Its rare graft-like dual coloration makes it a very unique and beautiful Cephastria. It is just one of the many offerings we are working hard to start offering to our stores. We have over 30 strains of different colors in our grow out collection. We are constantly adding new varieties as we find them. Cephastria frags heal quickly and often overgrow the plug by the time that we offer them for sale. Their rich colors, fast growth, and often low price point make them a great choice for both beginning reef keepers and experts. Here's a preview of this coming week's WYSIWYG Corals. Several shipments have arrived this week. Indonesian and Australian corals came in great and are settling in. We also had a nice shipment of Gorgonians and flower anemones from Florida. That's all for this week's video. From all of us here at iCatching Coral, we look forward to sending you a great order.